I'm going to give you a wee on that one. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Resellers shall <laughs> resellers share their big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I invited members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group to share their best February bolo. And there's probably five or six of these videos up. So be sure to check out the playlist and I share these posts every month and you guys are welcome to come over and share your bolos and I will shout you out in a video just like this. So the first one we're going to start out with is from Cat Feel and Thrifty. That is her eBay store. She also sells awesome vintage jewelry over on Whatnot. She said, I picked up these cute Morton Studio ceramic boxer doggy figures at a yard sale for $5 over a year ago. I typically list and forget about items, so when they sell, it is a great surprise. Took a best offer of 30 plus shipping, and again, cat feel and thrifty. Look how cute these are. And I will tell you what I have learned from selling jewelry on whatnot is that people like to find items that look like their animals. So that goes for jewelry, figurines, little different things just like this. These are so cute. And if you guys are not on Whatnot, there is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that to join. So check that out. This one also comes from Catfield and Thrifty. It's a vintage 1978 Cindy doll bedroom furniture, bed dressing table, lamp, table, armoire, and tray. She said, I bought three vintage trunks with unknown items at a local auction. One was filled with this Cindy brand doll furniture. I paid $15 for the trunk. I sold all the furniture in two to two different buyers. This is the last item sold for asking price of 68, but I did give this buyer free shipping to help her out a little. The other piece, table, chair, sofa, chair sold totaled 4075. As far as the other two trunks, stores to come. Oh, and this empty trunk, my granddaughter daughter scooped it up. Fun purchase. Thanks, Courtney, for making this site for us. And this is Cat Feel and Thrifty. So Cindy doll furniture. All right. The next one here comes from the old man picks vintage Moroso octane booster can drag racing race eight eighties, nineties gallon empty. I was visiting my dad and we were in his garage. He had this can sitting there to be thrown away. I said, don't toss that. I can sell it. It is an old Masoro Performance Octane Booster Can. It was used in a 1940 Chevy Master Deluxe we had restored back in the late 70s, early 80s. It was needed not for the octane boost, but because it had lead that lubricates the valve seats since the original six-cylinder 216 cubic inch engine didn't have hardened valve seats. Sold, on less, sold in less than a week for a $50 offer. Free to 50 works for me. <laughs> Check that out. I bet all you guys that like cars are like digging all that description. I'm like, huh? What's he talking about? But anyway, I see a tin can selling for $50. Awesome. Nice pickup. All right, you guys. This is a Catherine Holm Norway enamelware 12 inch plate charger blue on blue and it is rare she said i got this at my local small town goodwill for three and took less than a month to sell all right let's see what else we have here and she pointed out the little chip nice pictures antique victorian ephemera scap scrapbook album trade cards images arbuckle maps all right that was a mouthful i picked up this scrapbook at an ephemera sale, it was fill a bag, so I might have $3, maybe less into it. I've done pretty well with old scrapbooks, even though some of this stuff wouldn't sell for much on its own in good condition. This sold within a day or two of listing for full price. This is fabulous. Check that out. I have a really, really cool um, paper dolls set from a newspaper. And... Um, it, it, it's really cool. And I have it listed really high. And it's a, I am waiting on the right buyer because it is fabulous. Um, and that's in my eBay store. But um, I'm just going to wait. 
wait until I get an offer or wait until the right buyer comes along. And this one comes from Toy Attic and she is Jody Toy Attic on YouTube. And she knows a lot about a lot, but especially toys. So be sure to give her a follow. I think this is fantastic. I just could flip through this. I bet on her channel, she flipped through this in one of her videos. How cool is that? Do you guys like it? All right. The next one is, it says, I picked this up at an estate sale. It was one of those situations where I was just shoving everything I thought was interesting into my bag because things 50 cents on all the tables around the register. So while you're waiting, just grab some more. I thought it was just a planter, but I did some research on it and it turned out to be a drink mug from a hotel bar in Canada. Wow. The bar is long gone and people actually protested when it closed. It took about two years or so to sell for 58. I started it at 100 and gradually came down. The drink served in this mug was called the Ivory Hunter. <laughs> and she rolled her eyes. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. That And, you know, she couldn't put that in the title, probably because it would have got picked up as a keyword if you put elephant and ivory in the same uh, same title. But that was the name of the drink. Uh, this one comes from Toy Attic as well. All right. The next one is this Veggie Tales Larry Boy mobile talking car. If you do not know about Veggie Tales, get to know them. It is a Christian based, um, their videos. And there are toys, but they're, the toys are not mass produced. They're mass produced, but they're not mass produced. So some of them are harder to find, if that makes sense. Uh, we are Pig Star Patch. Got at the bins for $1.50. Had batteries in it, so I knew it worked. Took five days to sell. Took an offer of 50 and they paid right away. And I shipped it the same day. And that is what it looks like. I've done very, very well with Veggie Tales. This is a Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten purring stuffed animal plush. I got this item from my local Goodwill outlet the same day as my other bolo. Paid 10 cents for this item. I listed it on Etsy as well as some of the other sites, but forgot I had it on there. I was surprised to see it sold for full asking price of 90 after only a month. This is definitely a brand to bolo for. And she talked about cross posting. I cross post. I use this perfectly. I do have a demo video down below that shows you how I use it. And you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code bolo buddies, but definitely check out that video. I show you how to use the catalog. And I also show you how to cross post manually with, um, like from eBay to the other platforms. All right. This one comes from mindful recycle. She is also on YouTube. She is not currently producing new video footage, but I'm going to tell you, go watch her old videos because she is one of the biggest Bolo finders I know. And I'm so sad that she stopped her YouTube channel because she is amazing, but she's probably experiencing some burnout and maybe she'll be back and she'll be doing video content again. Maybe not, but it is easy to do. YouTube is a ton of work. And I will tell you that it cuts into your listing on eBay and other things that you do, you know, it's a lot of work. Um, some people think that a 15 minute video takes 15 minutes. That 15 mi minute video probably takes two to three hours to make. <laughs> so, um, definitely show some love to the content creators, go over there to her channel and just tell her thank you because she is incredible. Purchased at an estate sale, listed for about two months, sold for $659.97. She did pay $235. Uh, buyer paid shipping and it went out internationally. So what I have learned from Terry, uh, Mindful Recycle, is that she will pay up if she knows it's going to be a big money bolo. And this is a Walt Disney uh, WDCC Classic Lady in the Tramp. Cy and Am 2002 Chris Peterson Limited. She does a lot of estate sales and finds just really fantastic stuff. Here is another one from Mindful Recycle. And it is an Indonesian ginger 22 ounce large Yankee candle. Lightly used. Lightly used. If you guys do not know about candles that sell for big money, please type Bolo Buddies candle into the YouTube search bar 
and be ready to have your socks knocked off because it is crazy what some candles go for. She said, I bought this at an estate sale, had it listed less than a month, sold for a best offer of $100 and she paid $1 for it. The next item is from Lisi DC, who is Fooey Found For You on eBay. And she said, because it's so distinctive, Bolo might remember this. She's calling me Bolo. Um, I sold this on Whatnot. And it was during a jewelry detangling show. But the story gets better. Okay, just wait for it. It's a very large handmade Romero Brito brooch that I picked up for $39 and flipped on eBay for $99 in just a few days. Sometimes you have to pay up a little bit, but I'm very happy with the quick flip. So she did an auction. It sold for $99. All right. So this brooch was in an untangling. Um, I remember the untangling because I had dumped a box, but I had also grabbed some miscellaneous like bags of stuff because people had been asking me for brooches and I just threw some stuff on top. And I remembered that I had bought a bag of crafters items from Lucky Day Living on whatnot. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw this bag in there because it had brooches in it. So Lucky Day Living thought that somebody just like handmade this. It was like a kid's project. I, I thought it was cool, but I didn't look it up. I didn't think to look it up. I'm just like, I just throw stuff in my pile and I sell it on whatnot. I figure that the people on whatnot that are buying or watching are going to know what it is. Now, I will tell you, when people started bidding on this and it was getting bid up, I'm like, what? I'm like, what is going on? What is so special about this? Because, I mean, it's cute, but it doesn't look super fancy. And I got $39 for it. So I bought it on Whatnot and then I resold it on Whatnot. And then she flipped it for a big money bolo, $99 brooch on eBay. Now, she is Collective Finds and Arts on um, Whatnot. She's now selling on Whatnot. And she is doing arts and crafts. So she teaches you how to make things. It's super, super cool. Um, and you can buy craft kits and it's kind of like a craft with meat style show. And you can also buy stuff from her whatnot during the show. So really neat concept, something kind of new that I haven't seen a whole lot of. Maybe it's just not a category I'm familiar with. That could be, but definitely check her out. It's collective finds and arts. And, um, she is fantastic. She is an artist. I bought some really cool uh, greeting cards that she handmade during her show. So definitely check her out. Okay. Uh, so that was a fun whatnot story. Again, if you're not on whatnot, $15 to shop when you join with my referral link down below. And I hope to see you guys at a show. Oh. This is a Bratz back to school, Chloe Bratz class, rare sealed, excellent condition. Are you guys ready for this? Are you kidding me right now? Cost of goods, $10. Listed on eBay for three hours. Had 12 watchers almost immediately. Listed high at $999.99 and accepted the first offer of $900. Because the buyer sent me a sweet message asking if I would take less than asking because of slight damage on the box. Excellent feedback immediately after delivery, and it was my fastest sale. She paid $10 and sold it for $900. I'm going to give you a woo on that one. This one is a koala baby, curly chenille lamb stuffed animal, white pink bow plastic eyes. Found this lamb at my local Goodwill outlet. I couldn't find any online about it, so I decided to grab it anyway since it only cost 50 cents. Turns out it's an incredibly rare plush that moms are hunting for. I took a shot in the dark and listed for 90. It took a few weeks to sell on Poshmark for full price. Lavender ashes. And it is a cute little lamb. And the last item is mine. 
Um, you guys may have seen this one before because I had two of them. I picked them up at a garage sale for 25 cents each with some other Chuck E. Cheese items. And I will tell you that I have done really well with Chuck E. Cheese. So if you see it, look it up, even if it's just a cheap souvenir capsule prize. This thing was like plastic and cheap, guys. I couldn't believe it. Um, I put just a cheap Chuck E. Cheese's collector's item. I found two, and this is the second to sell. Sold for a best offer of $45. And the buyer paid shipping. And I want to say the first one sold around the same price. Maybe it was $50. But yeah, unexpected for sure. When I picked that up for a quarter, I did not think I was going to make $100 on $0.50. Cents. So, or close to $100. Chuck E. Cheese's. There you go, guys. All right. Come over to the uh, Facebook group. Share your bolo. Shout out your, again, either whatnot, YouTube, eBay, whatever platform you're selling on and share a bolo. And I will share it in a video just like this. The Facebook group is linked under the link tree down below in the description. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.